Welcome back to To Love Rue Darkness Anime Review Part 3. This go this one discussing episodes 7 through 9. Yep. These ones are kind of very odd ones to say the least, what happens in these three episodes. Yep. The first one basically is like, oh, let's have it where start off with with Lala using one of Avengers that doesn't work and has just basically exchange breast sizes for about a few minutes. It doesn't really go much in place at all. Yep. Yeah. It's basically like a lot of like so basically like with this one we actually also see like Mia's like apartment that's shown in this episode it seems like just a lot of stuff just happens like a lot of really random events yep yeah and of course by the end of the episode another adventure basically goes haywire by having Lala's little twister apart 2.0 well wrap around her and then somehow retook his ball with it they also have flashback of the reason why she started inventing was well, to make her sister get to make her sister reconcile. That was simply the gist of it. Yep. Basically, all this one's about si sibling. Uh, Basically, sibling love. That's basically what this one's about. Next one's quite interesting, which basically is one of these episodes. Oh, it's hot. So, and how about this character, Kondro, who did appear, uh, Kojo, she did appear a couple of those back. Yeah, she did mention the time when, just just uh, the episode six, when, when Rito accidentally groped her breast. So, Saki is not in the episode. Her name is Saki. I kind of forgot her name. Yeah, and this is in the flashback of this episode for episode 7. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big deal. First appearance of Zestin. Lala's bodyguard, and it's in a cameo. It's in a flashback. Wow. It's like, what a way to take an interesting character and just reduce it to like almost virtually nothing. I think the last time she was seen in the series that I can think of... Was when he briefly had amnesia, though I think he got over it. Yep. So next episode starts off with basically, well, more odd stuff happening. Also, we also have Rain giving Rito a seat, his sister CD, because they separated back in episode six, and just it's a sample CD, just try it out and. Basically, just tells him to take good care of Lala. She's a good. She's basically just a good person. That's the whole thing with episode seven. Where, and then we have it where oh another another day when Momo wakes up in Rito's bed. Yeah, for some reason, ever since Rito told Lala how he felt about her, she has stopped ending up in his bed and also sleeping naked. Yeah, that was a minor gag in the original series. Here, it's just not here at all. And she's half the time they involved with stories. Yes, that's kind of the strange thing about these episodes. It's like, okay, we have Lala, the female lead of the series, and she's been reduced to a almost like a minor recurring character in the series. Yeah, as the female lead. And Momo's kind of usurped her because she's the younger sister. Yeah. So... With this one, this one that was quite interesting, there's a lot of focus on, well, Meek in this one. And she's where Momo's replacing her. And we also have Haruna just happen to run into Kanjiro, where she just basically, after school, apparently there's a half day of school, which I guess is one of those. Yeah, we kind of have that here, too-ish. But they replaced Teacher Planet Day, which virtually the... Some teachers found out some teachers were basically using to take an actual vacation day instead of just basically doing some work. And they go to the cafe, they run into Risa. I thought her name was Lisa, her name's Risa. And like usual, she like rubbing Harana. They mentioned about her date with Rito. 
That actually happened in, I believe it was, Matotlovru, where she basically, where she was being stalked, and he was basically pretending to be her boyfriend. And that's the afterwards when he took her, she, she took him to the house. Mostly, when he took, she took him to her house. Mostly that's true, except that they never had sex. Nope, never did. He basically just politely tried to leave, and of course, eventually got out of her house pretty quickly. And of course, well, Kondra, she says, oh yeah, like, because she knows that, well, Rito's a decent person. Haruna has knew that since she first met him. And meanwhile, though, we have Mikan basically after she finishes up at the grocery store, and she basically is trying to walk, looks like she's walking home, and then she nearly collapses on the sidewalk due to heat, to heat stroke. Look at Kijo just happily there, and just escorts her to her place. Or she showers, and like usual, the anime censors the nudity. For reasons. And afterwards, they talk to each other. Of course, she introduces herself properly as Mikin Yuki. Well, Rito's younger sister. And she kind of already knew that. And they discuss back and forth about Rito when, when they, like, talking about Rito when he was, when they were younger. Like, apparently got lost at the pool and he was... So actually frantically for her and her shirt covering his shirt covering sweat. And by the end of the episode, of course, Mama overhears this. She just happily sitting down on the Kenro's roof for reasons. Saki, the reason why she's not in the episode, actually if you go to the explanation for it, she's off having dinner with her father. Probably he's out of town, so Yeah. So Momo just basically just happily escorts her home. I think Kendra does know who Momo is. Apparently she does. And then the course is revealed that apparently Momo called Rito about Mikin, where he once again sweaty shirt. Next episode, well, of course he basically wants to carry some stuff for her, just be nice. Next episode is kind of another one of those really deja vu type episodes where we have Callan get her hands on one of Lava's inventions, and it's the one where they stick together stuff. Yes, this this particular invention again. Yeah, this is definitely, I remember this one. Where the last time I saw this thing, well, the last time it was used, Rito accidentally spent a whole episode holding on to Lava's tail. This time it's different, per se. Yeah, they actually have it where he's holding on to Yumi's hand. Kind of a gentleman he is. And he spends the whole episode holding her hand. And his plot thread doesn't even finish this episode. Finishes up probably in later episode per se. But that's interesting. The first time they had an actual invention where the thing doesn't wear by the end of the episode. Because normally a lot of the time when they have these inventions of lavas, they they wear out by the end of the episode. This one, nope, not really. Did not wear off at all. Which I thought that was interesting. Yep. So they basically walk back some teriyaki, which is just a sweet they have over there. And of course, Rito invites well Yumi have Yumi have a board for dinner because Miki is very happy. It seems as the way the way it's written the series that Yumi is Mikin's best friend, and of course Lala calls her uh, Yumi Chan because she's shorter than she is. And when she used to be, she tried to describe her as being cute, which she she apparently likes being called cute. Also, in this very thing before the whole holding hands thing. We have it. We have a scene on her spaceship. Yes, her spaceship, which I'm thinking. Okay, now as far as I can tell, for her spaceship that she's got, this is probably the first time I can think it's ever popped up in the series. Yes, her spaceship. What's front of it is the same symbol that's on her chest of her outfit, her normal assassin's garb, and of course she's put on her socks. She's put on her outfit per se. In the previous episode, we see Kondro where she comes out of the shower. And she put on her panties and her bra, and then again she meets with Harana. Yeah, the anime love showing stuff like this, just showing people when they get dressed. And then, of course, after spending some time with Rito, they come home, they have dinner. For some reason, Lala is not in the scene, which I thought that was kind of weird. Like, why would you have Momo and Nana there, but not Lala? I don't know. It's kind of weird. So. And she's like, I want to take a shower. She's like, I make a pause and shower once a day. So Momo, and Momo says, and Nana's like, nah, you can't control yourself. So Nana decides to wash Yumi's bag. How nice of her to do it. And of course, Rito, 
well, they also before this where they they took Yumi to the bathroom, and of course Yumi decides to blindfold with her hair his hair her hair cover his face, which apparently she said to cover his mouth just perfect he could barely breathe, and after finishing doing her business, and of course puts another blindfold on him, where he's going wearing a towel, and both, well, she and Nana are both completely naked, and then of course well. Then, then of course, Nana gets in the bathtub, and this is a Japanese-style bathroom. And they try to hold, hold, hand off the shower head. He ends up grabbing Nana's tail. Then, of course, he slips, falls to Yumi's chest, uh, and then, of course, the blind falls off. He gets knocked over, and then his towel drops. And Nana sees the groin, sees Rito's groin, and she is embarrassed by it because this is the man who's going to be marrying her older sister. And she saw his groin before his sister did. Her sister did. Like, wow. And then his face got pretty much beaten the crap out of just because he saw them naked. Yep. And then instead of apparently sleeping in his own bed, he sleeps in a futon downstairs. Where you have Lala. No, you have Yumi's uh, uh, nightgown. I'm thinking, how the heck do you put this on with her hands being held? It's kind of weird. It's not really fully explained here. And of course, Rita's having a shirt. She says, Oh, yeah, I can cut this stuff and basically be simply with my telekinesis, apparently. And of course, well, he treats her very nicely, doesn't do anything to her. And of course, she later on in the episode says she likes to talk about the this particular person wh- who basically took care of her when she was younger. Meanwhile, though, we have the ghost girl, I think her name is Simo. She works for the, the doctor. I think the episode opens with them taking a shower. Yes, a shower, of course, and apparently they don't put the, the curtain around the shower stall, and apparently these two have, and this looks like a regular shower thing you see in the U.S. with like a bathtub and the actual curtain, for, and apparently it's got two shower heads. Yes, for some reason they have this, despite the fact that this is Japan, they probably would, uh, I would think though that the doctor herself, she would have a regular Japanese bath because her in Japan. Nope, have an American style bath for some reason. Don't know why. Then later on, she tracks down Mina by the end of the episode. By the way, Mina herself doesn't really do a lot these episodes. Not, well, with the exception of the like the, episode 9, doesn't do very much. So, Misero decides to follow her and enters her mind. And then we see this weird scene. Apparently, she's like, oh, let's see her get licked. Apparently, these weird little angels. And then we see for a pass, looks, looks a lot like. Well, Yumi's, where she kills a bunch of guys, and then of course, well, she manages to nearly get killed in the mine, but she gets out, and then she gets spooked by her, and that's that's it. Yeah, basically, this one, these episodes per se, not a lot of stuff happens per se. A lot of really weird and random stuff in these episodes, and. The thing with these episodes is it's mostly a lot of character progression, these ones. Yeah, these episodes cover chapters 10 to 13 and a, and a, and a side story. Yep, a side story. Yeah, that's literally what they cover for these three episodes. Yep, but yeah, that's a particular view. And that's probably going to be a video today because I might be going to work tomorrow, I don't know. So I'll probably say lastly for tomorrow. And... Presumably, I might get time to chance to start up the OVAs tomorrow, okay? And, of course, also tomorrow is going to be the series finale for The Seven Deadly Sins. Yes, the final episode of this series. Wow, for a series that started viewing just a few years ago, this will be something to talk about tomorrow. Yep, see you in the next video. Bye.